If you want to know the Sun and how it interacts with our planet Earth, the most important thing to learn about is the solar wind. While gravity is constantly pulling in, just like on Earth, there is an outward force to the Sun as well, and it affects tiny particles in and around the atmosphere of the Sun. This force pushes these tiny particles out in all directions. They travel from the Sun all the way out past the planets, even farther than Pluto. There is nothing in our solar system that is not touched and affected by the solar wind. So we need to know what the solar wind is. The solar wind is mostly made up of hydrogen ions and other charged particles. These are the primary components of the solar wind. There is also a small amount of neutral hydrogen, often combining from the smaller particles as they race through space. There are also helium ions, and neutral helium atoms. And in recent years, NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab carried out the Genesis mission, where scientists detected almost every known element in the solar wind, literally the entire spectrum of elemental matter as we know it. It is the solar wind interacting with Earth's upper atmosphere that creates the auroras. The ions in the solar wind hitting oxygen and nitrogen and the exchange of energy between them create these beautiful displays. The ACE satellite is currently charged with monitoring the solar wind, and it has been doing so for about 15 years. It measures numerous data points about the solar wind, including the density of the particles streaming from the sun, the speed of those particles, and their temperature, as well as aspects about the wind that affect Earth more than others. In 2016, the GOES-R satellite will launch and deliver even better monitoring of the solar wind and more from the sun. For now, this has actually been a terrific first step. You know that the sun has an outward force. It pushes matter outward, all the way past all the planets. It contains mostly hydrogen ions, but does contain small amounts of almost all known forms of matter. In this series, we will learn about how the solar wind affects our planet, and how events on the sun can affect the solar wind and the earth in other ways, from our electrical grids to the weather right above our heads.